Hey guys, it's Danae Johnson from Hello Well, and today on the channel we are making some sweet potato black bean patties. These patties are not only vegan, they are gluten-free, they're dairy-free, and as usual, freaking delicious. So for today's recipe, you guys are going to need some green onion. You are going to need some sweet potatoes. So either two large sweet potatoes or four small ones. Let's see if I can juggle these. Close enough. So on top of those things, we will need a can of black beans. For our spices today, you are gonna need some sea salt, some chili powder, some onion powder, and garlic powder. We are also going to need either a cup of cooked brown rice or quinoa. I had this cooked quinoa in my fridge. Make sure it hasn't gone bad yet. Uh, that needs to be used up, so I'm just gonna use some quinoa today. And then last but not least, you're gonna need half a cup of walnuts. Now, I actually realized this morning that I'm out of walnuts, so I'm going to use some almond flour in its place, which I have used before and it actually worked fine, so. So that's all we need for our ingredients. As you can see, as always, organic, whole food ingredients, nothing processed here. And as always, wanna let you guys know I'm gonna have the full recipe and all the ingredients in the description below in case you wanna come back and make the recipe. All right, so step one, we are going to prep our sweet potatoes. So what you're going to wanna do is preheat your oven to 425 degrees. While the oven is heating up, we are going to peel our sweet potatoes. You're then going to chop off the ends and slice your sweet potatoes lengthwise in half. Okay, so once you've done that, you can pull out your baking, uh, baking sheet, baking tray. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> so you wanna get yourself a baking tray. Don't mind my tray, it is filthy. It is not a good looking tray. It has been used and abused. Um, so you can cover it with either some parchment paper or I've got one of these silicone sheets that I absolutely love. And then just place your sweet potatoes on your baking sheet, sliced side facing down. Okay, so then we're just gonna pop those in the oven for about 30 minutes. At about 25 to 30 minutes, you can check your sweet potatoes, just poke them with a fork, make sure they are cooked thoroughly and throughout. All right, so while our sweet potatoes are in the oven, we're gonna start getting everything else ready. You're gonna take your can of black beans, get yourself a can opener, empty the contents into a strainer. So you are going to rinse and drain the black beans. Okie dokie. Give them a good shake. So now you're going to want to add half of the black beans to a bowl. So then you're gonna wanna get yourself a potato masher. If you don't have a potato masher, I don't know, maybe you can use your fist. I personally went out and bought a potato masher. So you're just gonna wanna mash half of those black beans to a paste-like consistency. Not sure if you guys can see that, but I've just mashed it into a paste. So for spices, you are gonna wanna add one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder. So just pull the sweet potatoes out of the oven. I'm just gonna put them off to the side and let them cool a little bit. In the meantime, we are still doing some spices, so we need to add some sea salt. We are going to add a quarter of a teaspoon. I always use Himalayan sea salt. And then I think I'm also actually gonna put in a little cracked black pepper. Just a couple little shakes of that. And that's the great thing about these sweet potato patties is you really can mix up your spices. Sometimes instead of doing this mixture, I'll do a combination of like cumin and paprika and turmeric. So the sweet potato and the black beans are really the base, but depending on what kind of spices you like, you could totally switch it up. All right, so we've added our sweet potato to our mashed black beans and our spices. And now we are once again gonna take our potato masher and Mash those bad boys up. Now we are going to add the remainder of our black beans. And just toss those in and stir those into the mixture. 
We're going to put this aside for a moment. We now wanna cut up and measure out half a cup of green onion. Okay, let's bring our bowl back over. Add the half cup of green onion. So that was about three pieces of onion made up half of a cup. All right, now we're going to add our quinoa or brown rice. I honestly kind of prefer brown rice in this recipe, but I don't find it makes a huge difference. Toss that in. And then last but not least, you're gonna wanna add in your walnuts. So as I mentioned, I ran out of walnuts, so I'm gonna use almond meal today. But if you do have walnuts, I suggest using those. So you're gonna wanna throw a good handful of walnuts into a Vitamix or a blender blend it up into a fine meal and you're gonna need half a cup of that blended walnut meal into the mix. Since I don't have any walnuts, I'm using my almond meal. I like the walnuts a little bit better because I just find it gives it a nice texture. Toss that in. Okay, now we're just gonna mix everything in our bowl together. I usually like to start by mixing it by spoon and then I usually get in with my hands and just go to town. Now at this point, I personally always like to make sure I wash my hands because God knows where these hands have been. So I'm gonna wash my hands. But if you're nasty, if you're filthy like that, I mean, feel free to just go in there with dirty hands to each their own. We've got these lovely freshly bathed hands. Now we're just gonna go in and mix all the ingredients really thoroughly together. Because of course you wanna make sure that the spices are really evenly mixed throughout. And sometimes I find that, you know, it needs a good hand job. If you know what I mean. At this point too, you can also taste the mixture and see if it needs any more spices. Taste with your dirty little hands. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. That is mixed enough. We're gonna put our mixture off to the side. I'm gonna grab our baking sheet and we're gonna form some patties. Grab yourself some parchment paper. And now we are going to form the mixture into patties. Now you can just eyeball it and make them whatever size you want. I personally like all of my patties to be the same size. So I use a one third of a cup and I basically form my patties that way. So I add about a third of a cup of mixture in and then just form patties with your hands. It's kind of like making hamburgers, but without the meat. And just do that with the entire bowl of mixture. And that's it. So how many patties did that make? Four, eight, nine, 10, 11. I used some pretty big sweet potatoes today. I usually find that this recipe makes about eight patties, but that's okay, we'll eat them. Got my little oven mitt. We are now going to put these in the oven for 20 minutes. So now we are going to want to flip all of the patties. Okay, so after you flip all of your patties, we're now gonna put them back in the oven for about 10 minutes. So after your sweet potato patties have cooked for about eight to 10 minutes, you can check them at that point, depending how cooked crispy you like them. You can leave them in longer if you like. I've taken mine out. I've plated them. I kind of feel a little bit like Martha Stewart right now. So I hope you guys like this recipe. I literally live on these things. They are fantastic for a snack when you're on the go, if you're busy. I also eat them almost every day in a salad with a little bit of like nut cheese, 
a big green leafy salad with tons of vegetables and then one of these patties. You're getting your protein from the black beans and the quinoa, and then of course some good healthy carbohydrates with the sweet potato. So uh, let me know if you guys give this recipe a try, give the video a thumbs up, and of course subscribe down below if you'd like to be notified when future videos come out. Thanks so much for watching you guys, take care and we'll talk to you next time.